The curry poisoning incident of 1998 is a famous mass murder case in Japan, which is still discussed today due to the disturbing nature of the crime. In the Sonoba district of Wakayama, Japan, there was an annual summer festival in July. Compared to other festivals, it was a relatively small affair, but it was well known in the area for one reason. It's delicious curry. It might seem odd that a typically Indian dish like curry would be so popular, but it, or rather, the Japanese take on curry, which tends to be more saucy and mild, is a hugely popular dish there, especially among children. People would come to the festival for the dish alone, which was made by a group of volunteers, and it was something everyone in the area looked forward to. That day, as always, people of all ages lined up and paid for a serving of curry, which smelled delicious from atop freshly steamed rice. Dozens of bowls had been served and eaten that day, and it wasn't long until people began feeling ill and vomiting. Fearing it was food poisoning, they were all rushed to the hospital, but the staff there were perplexed at the symptoms which did not resemble food poisoning and the rapidly declining condition of many of the people who were hospitalized. Unfortunately, in total, four people ended up dying in excruciating pain, two adults and two children. 63 others remain hospitalized from what turned out to be acute arsenic poisoning. A police investigation was quickly launched and a small paper cup with traces of arsenic was found at the scene. Attention quickly focused on the 37-year-old mother of four, Masumi Hayashi. A witness had seen her at the curry pot and it was discovered that she had easy access to arsenic because her husband was an insect exterminator and carried several types of poisons. Prior to the murders, Hayashi had been an insurance saleswoman. After her arrest, she and her husband were indicted on a number of insurance fraud charges as well. Hayashi was also tried for three other attempted murders by poison that had occurred during the previous 10 years, with the motive in those cases being life insurance benefits. Her family, known to be unusual and abrasive at best, had previously been shunned by their neighbors who had no interest in socializing with them and feared being associated with them. The prosecution argued that this is what motivated Hayashi to poison the communal curry. Lab analysis showed that the arsenic found in the curry was identical to the arsenic she had in her own home from her husband's extermination business. Hayashi pleaded not guilty and although her lawyers insisted on her innocence because only circumstantial evidence existed, she was found guilty of having mixed in the arsenic, enough to kill 100 people. Hayashi was sentenced to death. She appealed twice in 2005 and 2009. However, the Osaka High Court rejected her appeals and upheld her death sentence. Hayashi sat on death row for eight more years before petitioning one final time for a retrial in June 2017. However, the request was rejected. Tragically, that very same month, after a violent altercation at her home, Hayashi's 37-year-old daughter drove towards Kansai Airport with her four-year-old, stopped suddenly on the Skygate Airport access bridge, took her child into her arms and jumped off, killing herself and her four-year-old daughter. Post this event, when the police attended Hayashi's daughter's residence in Wakayama City, they found the woman's 16-year-old daughter Kokoro Surusaki lying in a pool of her own blood. She had been beaten to death just hours earlier. Later that day, Kokoro's father was found nearby, lying on the side of a road after an apparent suicide attempt. It was all a very tragic end to a very troubled family. And to this day, Mayumi Hayashi resides in prison on death row, rotting away in solitary confinement. A quick thank you to all of our Patreon supporters. Without you, Nightmare Tales just wouldn't be possible. And a special thanks to the Dark Cosmos as well. Be sure to go and check out his channel. Thank you for subscribing, and thanks for watching.